to the time of your life with the Baltimore County Department of Aging. I'm your host, Ethel Rasmussen. Today's show keeps you in the know by conveying important and interesting information about the contemporary topics that impact you, our viewing audience. As we begin the new year, Baltimore County Department of Aging is pleased to announce their 2016 initiative, which is called Brain Matters. The initiative provides special programming throughout the year in BCDA's 20 senior centers, as well as community-based programs. To support BCDA's new initiative, our guest today is Dr. Daniel Storch from Keypoint Health Services, who is on the show to talk about brain function during the aging process. He'll discuss the commonly used use it or lose it phrase that so many of us have heard when memory function is discussed. Dr. Storch will also share other pertinent information to support brain health as well as answer many questions you may have. Debbie Orlove, Community Business Liaison at the Department of Aging, closes the show with information about senior center travel, senior box office, and what's happening at your local senior center. Let's begin the time of your life with Joanne Williams, Director of the Department of Aging. Joanne is kicking off the show with the launch of Brain Matters, which is the Department of Aging's exciting new initiative. Welcome to the show, Joanne. Thank you, Ethel. Good to be here. The, De Joanne, the department is known to pick a specific topic for their annual initiative that focus on public awareness as well as a way to educate older adults on important topics. Can you share the details of BCDA's 2016's initiative? Well, we're very excited about our initiative, which we're calling Brain Matters. Uh, we have taken a lot of time, done a lot of research. We've talked with our uh, staff. We've talked with our advisory boards, the Commission on Aging, and of course we've spoken with the clients that we serve. And we feel that this is a topic that everyone can relate to at, at, at some point in the aging process. And once we select the topic, um, we, we form a committee. So we have staff who have come together and developed a plan for how we're going to market and integrate that topic in everything that we do throughout the year. So we're, we're very excited that to think that we'll be able to take that within our senior centers and, and interject that into everything that we have planned for 2016. Brain health is an important topic. Can you talk about the array of programs that will be offered throughout the initiative? Sure. We're, as I said, we have 20 senior centers, and we'll be promoting uh, all of the programs, as you can see. Uh, in January, February, and March, we'll be concentrating on your body and your brain. In April, May, and June of 2016, your emotions and your brain. In July, August, and September, your environment and your brain. October, November, and December, we're going to tackle technology and how that interacts with the functioning of your brain. We have several community programs uh, coming up from January through March of 2016. Boost Your Brain is in January, uh, specifically on the 8th at 10 a.m. Uh, fun tactics to improve your memory. We have Amanda Weber from Keypoint Health Services who will be sharing her experience and expertise in that field. Uh, recognizing strokes, how to save a life on February the 9th at 3 p.m. Dr. Gerald Fleischman uh, at the Colton Auditorium at Franklin Square Hospital will be talking about that subject. Medications and their effect on the brain, March 23rd at 10.30 a.m. Wayne uh, Van Wee, a pharmacist and uh, senior box office, will uh, be available to share his expertise. There certainly sounds like there's something for everyone. Yes. In addition to our community partner events, what can people expect to see at our 20 different senior centers? Well, we're always up for the challenge of presenting programs and services for those uh, who have a very diverse uh, interest and, and need in the Senior Center region. We'll be doing a Brain Day with Scrabble, Brain Train with Strength and Dance Demo. We'll have a Brain Matters Talk, Brain Power Foods Talk, very important to keep uh, nutrition up to date, Brain Exercise, Celebrating Wellness of Mind and Body, Conversations with Your Doctor, how to have those tough uh, conversations with your physicians, Facing Alzheimer's and African American Perspective, unfortunately that's a rising um, dilemma there. A guided imagery meditation to help brain health, how smoking affects the brain, memory enhancement, uh, risk factor medication interactions, very important. The aging brain, 
the green on brain boosting herbs, your meds and your memory, and then many, many other uh, similar topics we'll be doing. I understand in conjunction with the initiative that the department will also be offering a publication as well as a professional conference. Can you give us some of the details for that? Sure. Uh, well, education and providing resources is very important and key to, um, to our consumers, uh, both professionals and the clients that we serve. In May, we're looking forward to uh, presenting a publication, a publication, a consumer resource guide, if you will, that will cover information on a lot of the topics that we just talked about because they're, you know, keeping your, your cognitive skills sharp and your brain healthy is very important to overall health. So we will have those available in libraries and senior centers. And again, thanks to our very generous corporate sponsors, we'll be able to present those free of charge to um, hundreds of people. Uh, and as far as education is concerned, we also try to educate the professionals in the field of aging. So in the spring, we will, all, we will have our annual Senior Solutions Conference, and we will also include Brain Matters as a, a topic, and we'll be engaging uh, speakers who will come in and share their expertise, and again, help our professionals to do a better job of serving those in this network. Sounds like lots of wonderful training will be happening as part of the initiative. Definitely. Um, preserving brain function and memory is such a hot topic um, when you think about the incidence of Alzheimer's disease coupled with increased longevity. Mm -hmm. um, for those interested in learning more about these programs, how can people find out that information? Well, of course, you can contact our office, contact our MAP, our Maryland Access Point office at 410-887-2594 and come out and take advantage of any of the programs and activities at our senior centers to get more information. In closing, is there any other information you'd like to tell our viewers about our Brain Matters initiative? Well, just again, remember that you're keeping your cogn cognitive skills sharp and your brain healthy is just as important as keeping the rest of your physical body healthy because it all works together. And if you have more inf need more information, please contact the Department of Aging at any time. Thank you, Joanne, for sharing time with us from your busy schedule. Thank you, Ethel. It's a pleasure. To learn more about BCDA's Brain Matters Initiative, please visit www.baltimorecountymd.gov slash aging. Click on the Senior Center option to learn more. You can also phone MAP at 410-887-2594 for additional information. We're going to take a short break. When we return, learn about brain health.